Hello, my name is Ertuğrul Gaycir. I'm from Turkey, and I've been working as a tourist guide in Turkey for about 16 years, and meeting with many different groups from all over the world. So, with these groups, we also visit biblically important places in Turkey, because, as you know, Paul was born in in Tarsus. Today, Tarsus is in the south part of Turkey and he traveled to Ephesus and he stayed in Ephesus about two years. And also John, he lived his last years in Ephesus and he wrote the book of Revelation. We decided to make a short documentary about seven churches of Revelation and as John dictated the book of Revelation here in Patmos, we decided to start our documentary from this little cute Greek island. Today, we are going to introduce you to Patmos. Well, you can see the spectacular view of uh, Patmos Island from here. Actually, it's not a very big island. It's a small island, uh, only about 35 kilometers square. And uh, the population of the whole island is 3,000. And as you can imagine, the main income for people here in this island is tourism. Because it's very dry, there's not much farming here. And uh, every day, the cruise ships are coming to the port where the Scala is over there, it's a little village and the port of island is just there, down there and the buses are taking tourists all the way up to this hill uh, to visit the monastery and the cave. So we are not very far away from uh, Turkey, about 40 miles away from here and in a clear day John would have been able to see the Asia Minor where he was exiled from. Well, uh, the white building right behind me is a monastery and the monastery uh, was built around the cave where it is believed that John dictated Prokolos to write the book of Revelation. Well, John was exiled to this island, Patmos, but according to tradition, he was free to walk on the island. He was not living in that cave. But very often, he was coming up here with Prokolos for prayers. And after all, many prayers, one Sunday, he heard a thunderous voice behind him. The voice was that strong that the rock cracked into three pieces, symbolizing the, the Holy Trinity. And the voice said, I'm Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. What you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches. Well, John turned around to see where the voice was coming from, and he saw seven golden lampstands, and he saw the Son of God, Christ. Dressed with a long garment until his knee, his, vice, his, vi his hair is as white as snow. His eyes like flames of fire. From his mouth, a double-edged double sword came out, symbolizing the, the word of Lord. There are two keys in his left hand, the keys of underworld and death, and seven stars is in another. And there are seven angels around him representing the bishops of the seven churches.
Well, uh, here's the monastery of St. John the Theologian in Patmos. As you know, John lived in Ephesus and he was exiled to this little island, Patmos. And he lived in this island about 18 months. And he dictated the revolution here and sent it to the Asia, to the seven churches. But after he left the island, nothing happened here. It was like a black period till the 11th century. In the 11th century, there was a clever monk, his name was Christodolos, and he came to this island to find some evidence from John and from the cave where he wrote the revolution. And after finding the cave, he went to Byzantine emperor Alexis Komnenos to get permission to build a monastery here. Well, Alexis Komnenos liked his idea and he fully supported him because he was a strong religious man. And he even donated the whole island to Christogolos. Well, Christogolos became the owner of the island and he brought some workers from Crete Island and the workers stayed in a village very close to here and it took about 10 years for them to complete this monastery. Well, if you look at the monastery, it looks more than a monastery, it looks like a fortress because very often the pirates attacked here and this was the safest place for people to stay in. And you can see the bell tower because when the pirates attacked, the monks were ringing those bells to warn the people. And where the bell tower is today was called the killer. Because when the pirates came to that point, the monks were pouring hot water or oil on the top of them. And you can see very high outer walls for security, like 40, 50 height. And inside the, inside the monastery, there are three churches, seven little chapels, about 100 small rooms and three wells. Today, there are about 40 monks living in this monastery. Both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Well, as it is mentioned in the Bible, John was here on this island. So you may think how he ended up this island. Uh, Jesus told all his apostles to move to different places to spread the word. And after Jesus was crucified, John came to Ephesus and he lived in Ephesus for a while. But the Roman Emperor was Domitian. He was very cruel and he dated himself and he even built a temple for his name and he forced people to worship him. And John got exiled to this island, to Patmos. And he lived on this island for a while, about 18 months, in the year of 95. Saying, I'm Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what deceased, write in a book and send it on to the seven churches, which are in Asia. On to Ephesus, and on to Smyrna, and on to Pergamos, and on to Thyatira, and on to Sardis, and on to Philadelphia, and on to Laodicea. It was a good experience to be in this little cute Greek island, but my journey goes on with the book of Revelation in my hand. And my next stop will be the capital city of Roman Asia. See you in Ephesus.